Hi there guys, welcome back to Geronimo's Kitchen. All right, so this is going to be one of my favorites. You know, if you know how you watch your channel, you hear me say all the time how much I love soup. Today, we're going to be making a jangla soup. Well, jangla is going to add some soft shell crabs in it and some shrimp, so it's really like a seafood soup. Very easy recipe, one pot meal, very comforting for these rainy, rainy days. It's going to be delicious. All right, so we're going to look at our ingredients first, right? So we have our ground provisions, so some potatoes, Irish potatoes, and some yellow yam straight from Cristiano. Then we have pumpkin right here. So you just come in on the plate here. We got some garlic, we got um, carrots, right? And we got some okras, okra. We got some thyme, nice fresh thyme here, some scotch bonnet pepper, which is important, some scallions, and of course, we have our pumpkin, which you can't make your soup without pumpkin. Then, in for the kale, we have some freshly caught crayfish, right? Some crabs, blue crabs, which I have cleaned, and some shrimp, right? So, most people just dump these in, but I like to, I'll show you a little trick I like to do just before I put my, my crayfish in, because crayfish, they come with these little eggs and so sometimes. So even though I've washed them, brushed them in the underneath. So come, come right in, right in and show them. Right in the underneath sometimes has a lot of eggs. So I use a kitchen brush and just brush them, clean them thoroughly, right? Can't be too clean. So what we want to do next, this is the trick. Go to our soup pot, this is kind of hot. Let me get a mitten, all right? So. Just take the lid off, right? Put your crayfish in a bowl, and we just want to put some hot water. This is called scalding, right? Because this is soup, you know. We're going to actually have the soup, so you want to just scald off our crayfish. Just scald it. Just pour some hot water on it and allow it to, well, them, <laughs> these guys, these bad boys, to sit in that water for a while. We're going to do the same thing to our crabs. Boy, this is an hour cut This is completely really an hour. I'll have to use a run into your mug. Bam. Yes. And just scald these babies off. So all the, I want to say toxins, but I don't think that word is appropriate here. But all the bad stuff that we want to get rid of, then while they're scalding, will go. All right. So with this soup, you know that seafood is very, um, Fragile, cooks well, easy, won't take a lot of time. So we're not going to add our seafood in just yet. And you know, seafood, the flavors will develop quite easily. So we don't have to worry about that. Let me take out my whisk. First thing we want to do, all right, so you never saw these ingredients. This is from what Jamaicans call cock soup. So this is, what I did of course, is I've removed, use a sieve and I've removed the noodles because I don't like the noodles. Then we have some garlic salt here and some pimento seeds, allspice berries. Some of you people know what it's called. So what we want to do, right in, we're just going to pour our cock soup mix in our pot and whisk that. That's, that's where we're starting, right? That's where we're starting. This is just about a teaspoon and a half of garlic salt in with that as well. Then we're going to go in with just you want to see how we all over the place? God, burn up, burn up, burn up, burn up, burn up. Then we go in with just a few of these berries, maybe a half a dozen or a dozen. Anyone that works for you, let's get rid of these. Then we want to go in and get our pumpkin, right? Cube that up, cube it up, and just put them in nice little chunks. And we're cubing in so that. Even when they're cooked, some will mash out, right? But some you want nice little pumpkin cubes. So we just in our pumpkin cubes, right? Like so. And then we want to cover our pot. This actually smells good, I guess. It's the it's the um, chicken noodle soup. And some of you, wherever you are, maybe you can't get this, but maybe you can get like a chicken bouillon. I'm sure that can be used as well. 
So next thing we're going to do, we're going to go right in with our black casting to find out what we're stitching today. Oh, right here. My vegetable peeler. Right? And we're just going to get our potatoes, peel them off. Yeah. These are not from the farm, actually, right? I think these look like imported potatoes, but they were just fine. Alright, so. Yeah, and this is one of those soups I probably never even had growing up. We, in my house, uh, we did not eat crayfish and shrimp and crabs. Those were taboo foods. Just bad my body and now and start to break the rules and you know, start to make this. But I really like the flavor of this. There's a little man for all my Jamaican friends and people who have been to, to, um, to Jamaica. If there's a little man in the junction, and woman too in the junction on the road traveling to portland from kingston through st mary there's a man in the junction that sells a wicked wicked crayfish soup love it always stop there and and get either crayfish or red peas with quick scale very nice but soup is definitely one of my go-to meals i think i have soup at least maybe four times per day. i love it really really love soup all right so the heat is on so we're just peeling our yam now and my videographer, the lady called Pansy, just told me that I need to add cocoa to the, to the mix. So I had some cocoa that um, one of my friends brought for me from Christiana. I just went and took it up. So if you realize, I'll show you in a little what cocoa is. Right? Great. Here it is. So this is like a... It's like a tuber, it is a tuber, just like potatoes and yeah, it grows in the ground. So you may not be familiar with it. It has that kind of dashing kind of um, texture. If you don't know what dashing is, now is the perfect time to go to Google. I'll just put it, a pop-up picture with dashing when I'm done. But cocoa, very nice. Look at it, very, very, very nice. And very, very nice soups. So it's going to peel that. But you have to be very careful with cocoa, you know. You cannot carefully catch out your backside. <laughs> yes. If you're not careful with this, when it don't scratch you, we used to roast cocoa as a boy. I'll never forget. Because cocoa kind of grows wild. You don't even have to plant it. Well, where we I'm from, we literally don't have to plant it. It just, it just grows. But guess what? The heat is on in Geronimo's kitchen. We are making some Janga soup. Add in some nice plump shrimp and drop in two soft shell crabs in there as well. It's going to be. Oh my, look at that. Whoa! Pop them wide over. Yeah. My lord. But I'll smell good already, you know, we didn't know. <laughs> but it smells good. Smell good. It smell good. Alright, so let me just wash off these real fast. And then we're going to cube them up and drop them in so they can start cook. Put in some dumpling. Put in some dumpling and then they can start cook. And then we're going to add our crab and everything on top of it, right? Ah, Ronimo's kitchen. Yes. Remember, guys, you guys need to start telling me what you want. What do you want to see on the channel? Mm -hmm. That smells good. That smells good. Divine. Mm -hmm. Soupy man. Me not think nobody in Jamaica loves soup like this thing. Let's roll. All right, let's get our lid off. Mamma mia. So you want to get your tubers in. Get your yam and your Irish and your cocoa in the pot. Right in the pot. Yes. Into the pot. Hi. Careful not to burn up yourself. Right? Have you noticed this, this pot, all of a sudden the ingredients get enough and enough. There was no corn on the list. But then I figured, watch here, add some corn in my freezer, frozen. I think mommy gave me this months ago. We just, uh, they're still frozen. Don't try what I try. Little corn into the pot as well. Right in. Don't try this at home, guys. Don't try this at home. Get them into the pots. Whoa! 
Great. So we get those in as well. I need to clean this area up, eh? Need to clean this area up. Don't worry about the piece of card up on the ground. I know say many people watching say, oh God, piece drop on the ground, piece drop on the ground. Don't worry about that yet. Let's get a little stir on our pot here. Just a little stir, lovely. Beautiful. Right. Then, what I do for my soups, I chop the scallions, right? Some people have put it in, but I like to chop it. Chop it so it just melts away and give the soup that nice little oniony flavor that we want, right? That's how I like it. That's how I like it. If you like to put your scallion in whole, by all means go for it. But for me, this is how I do it. Right in, right. Get that in there, right? Get our garlic, just gonna go, smash, bam, smash, bam. Get that in. Let's get some thyme in. Let's slice our carrots. You know, I like to have some nice little fancy cuts, right? Just like that, yes. Big and chunky, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get these inside. So if you notice now, oh gosh, all the colors are coming together quite nicely. Look at the colors, the orange, the yellow of the corn, the green of the thyme and everything. Locks, man, locks. Then we go and get some scotch white. I'm using two different colors, just because. You know what? Right in. This is our okras. We just want to make little rings, little rings, little rings, and throw those in. Then we're going to go for some dough that I needed earlier, right away. <laughs> nice and <laughs> mercy. Get a dough. We're just going to make little balls, right? Little balls. We don't want, we're not making a traditional dumpling. We're just making some little round balls. Like that, just going to drop it in. Little round balls. I know? My gosh. That's what I can last and like until next year. <laughs> I love it. Get our dumplings, our little bubble dumplings in. Ooh, Sorry. Yeah. Look here. This is what you call the heat. It's on in Heronimo's kitchen. Pot of bubble. Super boy. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. See the corn in it. Carrot in it. Pumpkin in it. Oh, yo. You smell like scotch bonnet, that rich. The richness of the scotch bonnet. Then we're going to go in with our nice juicy plump shrimp. Right in. We have added our nice, nice plump juicy shrimp. Shrimp is in. Then we're going to go in with our crabs. You know, take them for a ride. Yes. Look at this now, just going right in. Right in. Oh yes, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. My Lord. I wish you guys could smell the deliciousness that is this soup. Yes, see that? So they are black now. We're going to look for them to turn red, right? So just as that is now, we're just going to cover this and allow it to continue to cook while we clean up our, our kitchen, right? Lovely. All right, so this has been on for a while. Oh, yes. So, you know, it's wow. Look at that. Oh, look at the richness, the natural thickness. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look for Mr. William, Mr. Crabby. Oh, you smell that? Oh, the corn, the shrimp. Look at the richness of that soup. Look at the thickness, the richness naturally simmering down. Let's taste this because you know we cannot be in the kitchen cooking and not tasting. I'd have to do it. just a pinch of salt. Let's get a 
pinch of salt in that baby there. Two pinches. All right. And you know, when you come down to the wire, what Duran I like to do, I like to add some fresh scallion just before we take it off, right? So we're just going to put that in, you know what? Let me mix this back up. All right, mm hmm. All righty. Get that salt. Go down. And just before we're done, we're going to just stir in some fresh scallions, right? Nice. Flavor. Oh la 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 Soup is into the drinking, and I'm not talking about the vino. All right, lovely. All right, so guys, we are done. Authentic Jamaican janga soup with some big janga. What is the bigger variety of janga? Look at that. Oh my. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are done. So we're going to try now to plate this. We want to take some a dumpling, shrimp there, some corn. Yes, mamma mia, lox, lox. Get Mister Krabby hair out. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Oh, Lord. Mm. You can taste that scotch bonnet. You know, the seafood flavor. You can taste the corn. Oh God. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you guys, it doesn't get better than this. The spice of that scotch bunny, the seafood flavor. I want to just hold it, crepish, and break it and eat it, but I can't do that on camera. Actually, I can. I just want. But look here, from my kitchen to your plates to your screens, to your kitchen, to your tables, to Ronimo's kitchen, always delivering on the flavors, always delivering on the style. My God, remember to subscribe to my channel, share this video widely, all over the place, best Jamaican Janga soup. See here, one big pot. All my friends out in YouTube land, call and make your order. See there, nice Krabby. Yes, my Lord. Poor Mr. Krabby is dead, but anyways, Peace out. Take care, guys.